Hi, I'm Nick Natarella with AdWise Creative. Today we're going to go over what you need to know before you start your YouTube channel. A lot of people want to start a business YouTube channel. I think that's a great idea. There are several tips and techniques that you can use to really stack the deck in your favor to make sure that you have a successful business YouTube channel. But a lot of people tend to jump to the technical side first. That's down the road. Let's set a firm foundation for the stuff that you need to know to make it a long-term channel. Yes, we'll also dive into the technical end, and yes, we're going to go over what you do after you get the gear as well. So let's get started. By the end of this video, you'll set a foundation for long-term growth and sales. You'll be familiar with the must-have equipment and have a roadmap to get started. So let's get started. The first big question you need to ask is, what is the topic of your YouTube channel? What are you going to cover? What information are you going to have? What are you going to uh, uh, show them, give them, teach them that is going to be important to your business? Obviously, it's coming as an extension of your business, but it's going to be important to your clients and your customers, especially the potential ones, the ones that you don't have yet. Those are the ones, those are the people, the eyes, the viewers that we want to attract. So what is the topic going to be? Well, like I said, it's going to be an extension of you to start with your business. Do you have a uh, financial planning services? Are you a personal coach? Do you have an agency? Does your agency have a particular thing uh, that they focus on, say, social media, but you've developed the, uh, the five-star program to social media? If you've got some kind of a hook or some kind of a way to do what you do different from everybody else, you have a wonderful foundation to capitalize on. Start there. That's going to be your overarching foundation. Now, specifically, how are you going to present it? That comes later. That comes when you start, when you match up your customers next. So the customers, who are you dealing with on a daily basis right now? Who are your current customers? Who do you want to be a customer? Can you paint some demographics from your current customers? Are there people that you want to go after based on who you're already serving? Are there folks that, that seem to fit in a certain demographic, whether it be age or job or uh, socioeconomic background or how many kids or what color car they drive? I mean, whatever. Is there some kind of commonality that you can tap into that you've seen interacting with your current customers? Those are the folks that you need more of. Those are the folks that you probably want more of. So let's try to go after them. And the big question is, what questions are they asking? This is something that you deal with on a daily basis. This is the stuff that you answer probably in your sleep, quite frankly. But now we got to wake that slumbering giant. There are a bunch of things that you're going to have to re-remember. You do it so often that you don't even think about it. I was, uh, somebody was telling me uh, in a copywriting exercise, Nick, what's a quick one win that somebody can get? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. This is back when I was writing a lot of radio commercials. And uh, one little calculation that I do all the time is how many words can you fit in a 30 second ad? How many words can you fit in a 60 second ad? That's just road. I do that. That's standard operating procedure when it comes to writing radio ads. But to someone who's never written one, that particular formula is brand new. So what I had to mull about for two weeks was so obvious to me, which didn't even seem obvious to me, was an obvious answer to someone who'd never done it before. By the way, for a 30, you want to shoot for 80 words. For a 60, you want to do about 170, 175, depending on what it is. Of course, car dealers will always turn in 210 words for a 30. But <laughs> that happens all the time. Just a little side note there that you can keep in your back pocket. And that's not even the disclaimer. That's the ad. So what are people asking? What do they want to know that you can teach them and become the hero in their eyes? Go and do a search. What you can look for, either go to uh, Google and start typing in something that you think somebody would ask. Uh, let's say in the financial services, if you're a, an investment advisor, something about 401ks or Roth IRAs or something like that. You're going to start typing that in and just Roth IRA and Google's going to start giving you some suggestions. Start looking at those suggestions and write them down. Then you want to search those terms. 
And the longer the term you get, the better off you're going to be because you're going to start eliminating a lot of competition. For example, how many people are searching the term financial advisor? A lot. You want to swim in that ocean? Good luck. Have at it. Have fun. But if you want to say, start catering to someone who asks the question, what can I do with my Roth IRA after 55 when I'm in the armed forces? Now we've really narrowed down the question and the answer and the people searching and you've eliminated a lot of competition because when you use that exact wording as the title of your video, you're going to be one of the only people to show up. And if that's the question that they specifically asked and your title matches, they know you're the one to give them the right answer. You're already building credibility and exclusivity in your own videos. Run with the SEO titles. Look for the questions that people are already asking and use that exact wording as the title for your video. And you'll be surprised these little trickles of information, of searches, start pointing at you. My friend Nate Woodbury, he calls it his leaf strategy. Investing is his big trunk of information. That's his big trunk topic. His branches are 401ks and, and uh, Roth IRAs and stocks and bonds and annuities. Those are all different branches. But way out at the end of the branch is a leaf. That leaf is the specific question. When you get a whole bunch of leaves, a whole bunch of videos answering specific questions, all of that leads to you at the trunk. You're the only person answering those questions. And a lot of business will just come to you by perusing your YouTube channel. Now, I'm just giving you the 30,000 foot view here on a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna be doing deep dives on all of this, okay? From the SEO to the YouTube stuff, to the equipment and all that kind of thing. Be sure to like and subscribe down below and hit the notification button so you don't miss any of those videos coming out uh, in the very near future. And a lot of this is gonna help you build your YouTube channel for your business. And if there's anybody else who needs to know about it, tell them about it too. I promised you equipment. Well, you can pretty much guess the equipment that you're gonna need. Yes, a camera. Cameras, you can probably start with the one in your pocket. Start with your cell phone, your smartphone. Start shooting videos with that. If you have to, set it up on a little tiny tripod that goes on your desk, nice little, uh, you know, that spring grip that holds it, and just start talking. Answer those questions that uh, people are asking in your industry. Start with the cell phone, then build from there. If you wanna buy a camera, you'll be more than prepared to do that. Next step would be lighting. Start with a window. Start by going outside. If you have to, Start with a lamp from your, uh, from your living room, preferably a three-way. You can set it just outside the, the shot of the camera, turn it on, and you'll have a really nice effect coming from one side and some nice soft shadow on the other side. Uh, in fact, it's called the Rembrandt effect or the Rembrandt lighting. Uh, it's actually got a name that dates back to the 1600s for crying out loud. They've been doing it for a long time. It works wonders for video. Then of course there will be editing. You have tons of editing programs, probably one on your phone already, a whole bunch more in the app store that you could download. There is a bunch of editing programs that are free. You could go for a few of those. And there's some that are paid for that you just pay for once. And then there are others that get a monthly subscription. Uh, one very powerful one that is a Hollywood level uh, editor is called DaVinci Resolve. It's put out by um, Blackmagic Design. Give that one a shot, I'm telling you. Once you jump to that one, you're never going to want anything else. You're never going to want a little phone editor. Oh my gosh, it's an incredible program. But again, don't be overwhelmed by it. There's probably a dozen buttons you need to know out of the 6,342 that are on there. Don't get overwhelmed. In fact, I go over the, a bunch of that stuff in a bunch of other of my videos. Look around and see those. One of the biggest things you can do is be consistent. Always, if you're going to post on Tuesdays, post on Tuesdays. If you're going to post on Fridays, post on Fridays. If you're going to do five days a week, ooh, be sure you post five days a week. Okay. YouTube loves to see consistency and it loves to see that, oh, whatever's going on over there on that channel, they're serious and they start to give you a little extra love. So first you've got all the SEO working to help you out. Now you've got YouTube going to help you out. And the most important thing to keep in mind for all of this, especially when it comes to receiving the YouTube love, it doesn't happen immediately. Patience. Give yourself the time. 
the best thing you can do is, is over that time to be consistent. Like I said just a second ago, be patient over the time, but be consistent and that will all add up. In about four to six months, you're going to see a huge difference in your, uh, in your YouTube channel. Now, if you're doing once a week, it might take a little longer. A year, year and a half maybe. Don't know. The numbers are still out. They're still experimenting with that. But if you start doing five days a week, you're going to see a significant growth in a very short amount of time, relatively speaking. So be consistent and be patient. Something that's going to jump you to the head of the class and probably skip past, oh, I don't know, five to seven years of experimenting. A friend of mine wrote this book. Nate Woodbury wrote A Hero's Guide to Influence on YouTube. This covers everything from equipment to editing to posting schedules to finding the right topic to the leaf technique that I was talking about earlier. It's all covered here. He's given me a bunch of copies that you can have. Just pay for shipping and printing. It ain't a cheap book, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, has it is it full of the right information to get you started. Click the link below in the description and get your copy today. I'm Nick Natarella. Thank you for watching.